So Netflix is like the new straight to DVD source when it comes to movie. And I hate to say that. I mean, yeah, they're technically all stream it because you can stream them, but you know, that doesn't mean it's worth your time. Let me explain. We start off this movie by observing Logan who really, really loves running, which is really, really crucial to his health because it has, it doesn't mean anything to this story. We see Logan and his dad drive over to the store since they need some milk and then a driver drives over his dad and now he's dead. Logan and his mom, however, are like crazy poor. They're cheaper than the budget of this film. So the sister steps in and offers her multi-million dollar mansion up in the mountains so they can stay in. Which it's like, why not just toss them a dime, especially... Especially when your house is up for sale. They decide to take it and on their way up, they get jump scared by a random dude on the road who, again, don't worry, it has, it has nothing to do with the movie. They run into this creepy lady named Martha at a convenience store who mentions that she's their neighbor, she knows everything about them, and uh, yeah, for a good first impression, lets them know that her husband died. So, you know, nice to meet you. This chick's literally like a butcher knife away from being that crazy chick from Misery, so I would 100% pass on moving into this holy smokes. This house is beautiful. I mean, yeah, it's got that random Harriet Tubman tunnel that doesn't really serve any purpose for the story. Not even the, in the intruder can go through it, but it's a really dope place and they seem to settle in just fine. Martha does appear again, claiming that it's her house and it's sort of like, whatever lady, if you're crazy, it doesn't really matter. You ain't got the keys to this house. And then they remember that they also don't have the keys to this house. And in fact, every Sunday they have to leave the premises for the open house where any weirdo can actually go into this home and walk around and that's when we get a jump scare from a pair of boots. That's the problem with this movie. They gave all the money to the sound mixer because he's the dude who's working overtime. He's amping up the volume to make scenes scary that are not scary in any way, shape, or form. Even the intruder of the house does dumb stuff like turn off the hot water. He's sneaking in just so he can move a bowl of cereal. And by the end of it, he does the most sinister thing of all. Set up a lovely dinner. They see Martha again, but this time she lets it slip that her husband is actually alive, so they're looking at her like, either you're crazy because you did say that he was dead, or you're like me and you're going, yeah, there's probably a version of the script where he was alive and then he got cut due to the budget. There's also a dude named Chris throughout the movie who appears because he's trying to get jiggy with the mom, and we almost assume that it's him who's the intruder until he's found dead in the car. Logan walks outside and goes, no, because he has a flat tire. And then he gets pummeled by Black Boots, gets drenched in water, and then Black Boots goes back inside, upstairs to the bed that the mom is sleeping in, and does the most disgusting, horrible thing. He hogs the covers. The mom wakes up and notices him, freaks out, and he decides to 50 shades her and plays three little piggies with her fingers. Logan comes in right in time to save his mom, only for later to accidentally stab her when they're trying to run away. Black Boot takes off Logan's contacts and, you know, he doesn't want him to dry up. He's a nice guy. And then he knocks his body out and leaves it for dead right next to a river. Like, that's the whole movie. At least the strangers killed their people more elegantly. The guy ends up being a complete nobody. He has no connection to them. The family is just completely done with their lineage, and the guy just decides to go to the next open house as if people regularly stay in open houses. Thank you guys for checking out this video, and apologies to you if you wasted your time with this movie. I know that Netflix is putting out so many stuff out there, but it's like, they're like a pack of gum to make this movie? It's ridiculous. It, you know, let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comment section, any other movies that you want me to cover. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and hopefully it'll get big enough so, you know, maybe Netflix can give me a pack of gum so I can direct a movie.